Hey everyone, it's BB. Today we're going to be playing Brilliant Shadows, part one of the Book of Grey Magic. Let's get started. We're going to do this, and you and I are going to end up together. Yeah! Once our training is done, we're going to be paired, and we're going to be the best pair in the world! We'll be best friends forever. Nothing is going to stop us as long as we're together! Nothing. It's a promise! Rude's tiny hand stabbed outwards, and Ash closed her own around it. Promise. Thump. <laughs> I'm awake. Yeah, I'll bet you are. Uh, Prude? What do you want? <laughs> I'm glad I came to check on you. Partied a little too hard after graduation? In a place of memories, Ash only found a fizzling sensation when aforementioned evening should have been. Ugh, yes. Oh, so I suppose we shouldn't worry about the pairing ritual then? Ash was on her feet with a start. Oh, oh! There we go, that's the Ash I know and love. Get dressed, I'll meet you downstairs. I'm supposed to collect any other tardy graduates. Thanks, I'll see you there. See you later, partner! That hurt my ears. <laughs> the two girls stifled squeals of excitement. The day had finally come, 14 years of training, and they were finally going to become a pair. They would finally be set free upon the world and have a chance to work their magic. Oh, the plans they had. Ash was dressed and groomed in record time. She took a few bites of the pastry her drunk self had possessed the wisdom to save, but couldn't manage to finish it. The excitement curbed her appetite. Had Prude forgotten something? Yes. The door swung open and Hecht stepped inside. Oh good, you are already about. I wanted to ensure you were not tardy. I don't see why you would assume I'd be tardy today of all days. No, you are correct. I suppose I should have assumed prudence would have gotten you up. Ash flushed at the comment. Well, I just wanted to ensure that you were up and about. I will see you at the ritual. Ash wanted to throw something after him as he left. Hector was a year or two older than her. He had graduated two years ago, and after the ritual, he had found himself unpaired. He had been so much nicer before that. They had never quite been friends, but they had at least flirted with the notion back then. This year would be his third chance. She was impressed. He had been able to survive that amount of humiliation. Ugh, forget him. Today is our day. The idea of finally fulfilling her dream of becoming one of the pairs, of joining the Orders. She couldn't contain her excitement. <laughs> Forcing herself to stifle her enthusiasm, if only a little, Ash adopted her serious face. She cloaked herself in an air of dignity and stepped out her door. The walk to the ritual chamber took far less time than she had remembered. She must have been unconsciously rushing. Other students had arrived, but the chamber hadn't qu quite filled. There were many more to come. Ash chose to burn the time by retrieving a book from her pocket in her sleeve and burying her nose within. A few moments passed before she felt a tap on her shoulder. Prude was looking at her with a whimsical smile, and behind her, the chamber was alive with the bustle of a hundred graduates. Already lost again, I see. I was just passing the time. Are you ready? Very. The two exchanged knowing smiles. Silence! Silence struck like a blacksmith's hammer. You all know why you are here. You have completed your training. Today is the day where we perform the pairing ritual. In this ritual, the dark magic of necromancy is balanced against the light magic of the paladin order. In pairing, we find balance. To find only one, we are lost in darkness. 
or blinded by the light. It is only in finding balance that we can know true understanding and power. Now form up. You should all know the incantation by now. We will begin immediately. The graduates moved as though on instinct and were in position in moments. Begin. For a heartbeat, Ash struggled to find the first words of the ritual, flustered by both excitement and anxiety. She knew, however, this wouldn't affect the spell. Any mage that performed the incantation prior to its completion had a chance to be paired. Assuming, of course, that one possessed sufficient power. As the voices rose, so too did the ambient magical energy. Each figure began to em emanate their element. Ash saw Prude beam in with light, and she could sense the shadow that poured from her. The energy began to swirl, spiralling upwards and towards the centre of the room. It began to swirl and twist on its and twisting on itself, flaring brighter and darker as each voice ascended towards it. Then all at once, it became solid. A massive yin-yang hung above them. It spun gently, burning with raw magic of both light and shadow. Ash could not hold back a smile as awe took her. It was finally happening. The explosion hit with a thought with such force that Ash was on her knees, knees before she could even process what had happened. She found herself gasping for breath. A moment passed and fear took her. What if she hadn't been paired? The thought struck her so hard that Ash could only avert her eyes, daring not to look at the back of her left hand, her primary hand. Looking instead to her distinct left, her distant left, Ash saw Prude staring at the back of her own fist, a smile curling across her face. The fear dissolved, there was no way, her best friend, her best and closest friend was going to be paired to her. This would be but the first climax in the, sto in the story of their life together. Her eyes fell to her clenched fist as she uncurled her fingers. The back of her hand held a black bird, its wings outstretched, its feathers curling wildly. It was beautiful. Prude rushed over to her. Kinda weird we got a spider! The fear returned, tenfold. For a moment, Ash could not draw a breath. With a gasp, she managed to extend her hand, her right hand, the one without third. Prude placed her hand into Ash's. Prude's warm peach skin depicted the image of a spider, beautifully drawn to just below her knuckles. No. Prude's expression melted, contorting from delight to concern. She, she reached out and snatched Ash's left hand. Concern hardened to despair, and then rage. How? You're my best friend! Who could be a better pairing for me than you? Ash couldn't find the words. Where Prude was able to find anger, she could only find sorrow. The two stood there for an eternity. Words were at a loss to convey how they felt. Only silence could portray that emptiness. Does anyone have a spider? Anyone at all? I am terribly excited to meet you. I promise I will be the best necromancer you will ever know. Hector looked deeply concerned, almost panicked himself. I was top of my class, you know. In fact, I've even been teaching this last year. I'll admit, I am lowborn, and I do have a silly last name, but that's no reason to hide from me. Silence hung as awkwardly as Hector was himself. I... I don't suppose that the ritual went awry? This last question he directed to the heads of the two orders. No. The spell has never failed. Not in the forty times I've been here for it. And there is no record of it having failed prior to that. If you did not pair, you would not be marked. Turning back to the crowd, Hector gave a sheepish smile. Sheepish, sheepish smile. Really and truly sorry if I've disappointed you, but I swear 
I will spend the rest of my life proving to you that I am a worthy pairing. Go. Ash whispered it. The words escaped him before she had time to bite her own traitorous tongue. This isn't right! Go. I have to find my pairing as well. I bet there's a paladin out there just as harried. You're still my best friend. And you are mine. This isn't right! I know, now go! Another moment of silence fell between the two before Prude let go of Ash's hands and walked up to Hector. He raised an eyebrow and then broke into a wide smile. Prudence. Prudence turned her hand and around, showing him the spider just below her knuckles. He returned the gesture, tears welling up in his eyes. This is so wonderful. I am so happy. Prudence gave him a look. The look spoke more than she could ever convey with words. No, no, I'm sorry. I, I know how much you two wanted to be paired. Please don't tell me she is without. No, Ash was paired. Hector's eyes fell onto Ash. That's good. At least you need not suffer the stigma of being unpaired. Here, show me your hand. I will help you find your pair. Ash didn't resist as Hector took her hand. Oh my, the phoenix. What a lovely mark. Raising his voice, he raised her hand. Does anyone have a phoenix mark? You may have mistaken it for a bird. There was no response, only dull chatter as pairs seemed to be performing introductions. Oh come now, there can only be but one or two of you left. Speak up! No reply came. Hector made a face, and lowered his voice. I imagine someone may be in a situation similar to your own, scared to admit they did not get the partner they wanted. Let me speak with Luciana and Zachariah. Would you mind coming with me, Prudence? It's Prude, and no, I'm not leaving her until she finds her pair. Prude it is, and I understand. I will be right back. Hector marched away with little more with a little more bounce in his step than Ash appreciated. Prude's eyes followed him as he left. You know, this may sound weird, but I actually have a really good feeling about this. The moment he realized I was his pair and he mine, something just clicked. Prude turned back to Ash. It will be the same for you. I promise. Ash swallowed and held back tears. Somehow, when you say it like that, I believe it. <sighs> Everyone who has paired and met their partner, sit down. The command was so harsh, Ash almost sat herself down, only processing the actual contents of the command when already almost down to a knee. Catching herself in time to stay standing, Ash gave a look around. She was standing alone. There was no hushed conversation from there was a hushed conversation from Hector and the two heads. Well, hushed, save for Zachariah. There were an odd number of students. At least one student being unpaired is to be expected. You yourself should know that we'd be lucky to have only one. There were five in your class. There was further hushed discussion. What do you mean she has a mark? Whispers. She must have drawn it on herself or something. More whispers. Ash had gone numb. Oh, well I suppose you would know. Silence seemed to hang for a moment. Veronica Ashmar, come with us please. Ash's feet seemed to obey without her mind be bothering to process the words. Prudence, you too. Prudence was beside her, an arm around Ash's, Ash's shoulder, whispering comforting things into her ear that she couldn't hear. The meeting took place in Zachariah's office. It was closest to the chamber. Hector yelled, Zachariah yelled. The two seemed about to come to blows, yet the words never reached Ash. Prude stayed by her side. Luciana seemed mostly to contemplate, commenting only occasionally. 
the numbness spread within her. Shock. It was shock. She knew what shock was. But knowledge didn't mean escape. She couldn't free herself from it. Everything became a blur. Somehow she made it back to her room and into her bed. She finally found a, found respite in sleep. Morning came slow and steady, and for a moment, Ash wondered if everything had been a dream. The phoenix on the back of her hand told her it had not. Thank the gods, you're finally up! Their arms were around one another in a moment. You feeling okay? Um... Are you feeling ill? Let's try that. No, or at least I'm not sick. Good. Did you sleep in your dress robes? Mm. Apparently she had. That would explain the sharp pain in the back of her head. Hairpin made poor pillows. Ash scanned her room. They were alone. Where's Hector? He's still on a rampage. He's convinced someone didn't get paired, and they'd pretend to be paired with the friend they wanted to be paired to. Apparently, he can tell if Mark is a Mark, or just like, a Mark. Ah yes, very eloquently explained. Prude laughed. <laughs> Good to see you're feeling better. Here, let me help you with that. With Prude's assistance, Ash removed the offending hairpin and slipped into a more casual dress. I'm just glad the pin didn't do any permanent damage. I doubt my head could have survived much more trauma than it already did. My cat's trying to get in. Oh. Ash let out a long breath and turned to Prude. <sighs> what was that fight about yesterday? I can hardly believe that Hector would argue with a head. You didn't catch that? Hmm. You were pretty out of it, but I'm not sure if I should tell you. Please. Everything is awful as it is. The least you could do is spare me from censorship. Okay, just... Promise you won't jump to conclusions. I promise nothing. Fine. Look. Apparently, a while ago, Hector kind of developed a spell that can sort of dissolve a pairing. He did what? More than that, uh, he was, uh, I'm really not sure I should be telling you this, uh, he was trying to develop a method to, uh, force a pairing. No. But, but it didn't work. He tried it with a teacher whose necromancer died, and again with one of the students who didn't get paired last year. Look, Ash, it doesn't work. Not to mention that apparently broken pairs fix themselves with the pairing ritual. Huck conducted a test a while ago where a number of unpaired and those with willingly broken pairings performed a pairing ritual, and they were all repaired or left unpaired exactly as they were before. An awkward silence still hung between them as Ash's mind reeled. He didn't do this to you, I promise. I've given it a lot of thought, and I think Heck is on the right trail. There's someone out there who's lying about their pair. It's just some mosshead who's more scared about being paired wrong than we were. How can someone I am paired to do something so... awful? Perhaps they're just really that dumb? I could see you doing well with a pet meathead. Ash couldn't help but laugh. Prude had always said that one day she would be her pet meathead. So, how is he so far? What do you mean so far? He's done nothing but to try to deal with your situation. I haven't had a chance to know. Prude looked away from Ash for a moment. But, I think he's a good guy. Oh, yesterday? He brought us food from the festival. Way more than we can reasonably eat, and choice bits at that. I think he feels guilty about what happened. Do you? Feel guilty, I mean. No. Well, that was sudden. Somehow, the ease with, with which she said it sent a cold spike of pain into Ash's stomach. I... I know that sounds callous, but... 
Wait until you find your partner. It will all make sense. The two sat in silence. You said something about food? Oh, yeah, over there. Ash's eyes popped as the entire spread of a catering table lay atop her dresser. Light and shadows. Told you. Good guy. So the two ate, laughed, and Ash tried to enjoy what some, da what some dark voice in the back of her mind told her was the last chance she'd have with her dearest and closest friend. Prude and Ash must have been talking for hours, though Ash could not recall a single topic when a knock sounded at the door. Come in! Hey, it's my room. Zachariah, Luciana, and Hector all stepped inside. Hector had a bloody lip. I am sorry, but... No luck. No, I am sorry. It appears all of the pairs this year are legitimate. Rampage over here started performing a ritual to break the pairings on everyone in the building, to force everyone to repair, because he's convinced that someone is still hiding something. I know I panicked for a moment on the floor, but you are right. The ritual does not fail. Someone is paired to her, and for whatever reason, they are concealing it. I stopped him. You interrupted the ritual. If Luciana had not come to help you, I would have easily beaten you and finished the spell. You're a zealous little ball of rancor, aren't you? Hector bore his teeth at Zachariah, and she kicked him in the stomach. <sighs> He responded in kind, taking a swing at her throat, only to catch a shield from Prude, which had sent him sprawling to the floor. We appreciate what you are trying to do, but we have checked every single paladin on the grounds. And in fact, every member of the staff and grounds visitors. It would not be the first time we had a handmaiden secretly complete training. Sadly, there is no match to Ms. Ashmore's Phoenix. Hector stood up again, grimacing. I know more about the pairing ritual than any other necromancer or paladin at this school. I promise, I will find. No. Hector gaped, flabbergasted. I appreciate what you are trying to do, but you wanted to join the army, right? Hector nodded, looking away with narrowed eyes. And Prude, you were going to join the Kingsguard and protect your mother, right? Your desires coincide. You should walk that path together. And what about you? That was already decided before your noble gesture, Ash. Huh? You will stay alongside Hector and Prudence for now. Hector is correct, in that he is the most knowledgeable in this matter. I profess his abilities in that regard exceed even my own. However, none of you will be leaving until this is resolved. Veronica stays because we need to figure out where her mark came from. Hector stays because we may need his research. And Prude stays because we don't split fresh pairs. Hmm, I have mixed feelings about this. Don't worry, Ash. We'll figure this out. Thank you. All of you. Don't thank us yet, child. You may have much more suffering to come. Oh, that's ominous. Okay, I'm gonna leave it there for now. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!